Welcome back to another edition of the Senior Spotlight. I'm Brady Beaton, joined this week by Charles Ellington. Charles, to start off, how the season's going? I know it's not going great record-wise, but how are you feeling? Feeling healthy through four weeks of football? Definitely feeling pretty good. Uh, we hit a couple of road bumps uh, on the way, but you know the effort's still high, the intensity's still there. We're still focused as a group. I'm excited to see what the rest of the season has. I don't think we can tell the story of Charles Ellington without starting... Um, how you got here. Mm. It was a very weird set of circumstances. There aren't too many people, you know, when you sign that national letter of intent, I know the transfer portal is big mm. now, but you, ex you expect you sign that letter of intent and four to five years later you get your degree, you're done there. Mm -hmm. You went to Malone, and for those that don't know, they canceled the football program while you were there. What was that experience like going into an off season, getting ready for another year, and then you just, the program's dead? and you had to find a new home. What was that whole experience like? It was a complete shakeup. No one was expecting it, not even the coaching staff. I remember um, we had just finished the, the 2018 season, going into the off season, and uh, everything was uh, firing on all cylinders. And then one random Friday morning, we were all called into the, the football offices around 6 a.m. president was there, guidance counselors were there, whole coaching staff was there. Um, and uh, they just said, hey, we got to cut the program. So. It's, a, it's very weird because that very same day, uh, Coach Winters came into the offices and yeah, invited me to go on, on a, uh, a visit here that same Saturday. So I went up here with my dad, loved it, you know, been a warrior ever since. With that Scott team or the program getting canceled, did you have any idea? Because, you know, sometimes that you hear rumors or were you completely blindsided about Malone cutting their football program? Completely blindsided. We all thought we were going to do some running that morning. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was de definitely not the case, so I'm um, just happy it all worked out in the end. So you come to, to Wayne State from Ohio. What's it been like going from Malone, which is the, the college campus is a little bit different than Detroit. What's been different? What have you liked about Wayne State and coming to Detroit? Uh, Detroit, you know, it's that big city feel. Uh, like all the pro sports are here, just it's just a, a very inviting atmosphere. You know, Malone, it had the Hall of Fame stadium, but besides that, it was a pretty small, tight-knit community, and that's what I was really looking forward to, uh, really spread my wings and get to Detroit. Well, you mentioned a tight-knit community. It's kind of funny because Wayne State is a big campus. They have a lot of, of students, especially in the undergrad, but it feels like athletics is its own little tight-knit community. It's I don't want to say it's separate, but there, there's a little something special, and I think there's that's true at most colleges. So what, I mean, would you agree that it is kind of a tight-knit community within a big city and a broader scope? Definitely. Uh, the athletes, we stay together. We all know mm -hmm. each other. You know, most of the, your, your recruiting class, you know, you, you get to know each other, the baseball team, the, the swimming team, everybody. We're, we're definitely close-knit. So coming in as a transfer, was it a little intimidating or – because, you, you know, you get used to being in a locker room, and you might not be a freshman, but you're you're new to the, the program. You don't know what to expect. Every program's different. What was it like coming in as a transfer, and what is that experience like? Uh, at first, it was a little nerve-wracking. You know, the, the pace and the tempo here is a little bit faster. The way they do business here is, is just a little different, but um, I'm glad everybody opened me, had, had open arms and accepted me, and I was able to grow here. Now, Charles... For those that haven't seen you in person, you are a very large human being. <laughs> if, when you're looking for Charles on the field, he's the one that's a head taller and a foot wider than everyone else. And because of that, you, you, you've been getting some looks from the next level. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that works out. I'd love to see you playing on Sundays, but football ends for everyone one day. What is Charles Ellington going to do when football isn't in his future and when you have to go and, and leave the sports realm and go into, I guess, the real world? Uh, definitely right now just trying to get my, my career started in the private sector. I'm getting my master's degree right now in uh, automotive supply chain management. So just uh, making strides towards that. So whenever I have to hang the cleats up, uh, I have a good backup plan. Now when you do hang the cleats up, do you want to stay near Detroit? Do you want to go back to Ohio? Or is it just kind of wherever the wind takes you and there's no plan for where you want to live after football's done? Uh, nothing set in stone, but... I, I'm really falling in love with the greater Detroit area, so I'm trying to stay up here if I can. Well, Charles, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it, and good luck the rest of the season. Good luck with your pro aspirations, and uh, stay healthy the rest of the year. Thanks, Brady. He's Charles Ellington. I'm Brady Beaton, and you're listening to WDTK, The Patriot.